I hope you're all well. So I've been doing a lot of exploration and when I say exploration, I don't actually know what I mean. What I mean is I've been looking at natural progressions when we're using our machines. So kind of things that we would naturally progress into. Uh, they're all connected to the Cricut machines, but they're perhaps not something that you would maybe go straight into. It's, a, as I say, a natural progression. So today we're going to look at badge making. So we're going to be using Design Space and we're also going to be using a badge making kit. Now, I ummed and ahed about getting a badge making kit for ages and then my friend Sharon actually made uh, some badges for an event that I was going to. And I was like, wow, I need to get one of these. And I have to say, I love it. So this is the micro badge maker that I got. And I got an interchangeable one. Uh, so this is from Amazon UK, but you can get them from Amazon US. I mean, they're really readily available. The reason I went for an interchangeable one is that I want to be able to just have the machine but get the different dies. So I've currently got the 58 millimeter dies, which are plenty big enough. I think for me, the 77 would be too big. And then I'm gonna get the 38 millimeter die pieces as well. Haven't got those yet, but that's my next investment. But with an interchangeable badge maker, you don't need to get the whole set again. You only need to get the actual die component part and then the correct size badge pieces. So this one that I got came with the actual badge maker and the dies for 58mm. It came with a circle cutter as well. I'm not using that, I've obviously been using my machine. And then it came with 250 badges, so I've got all the bits I need to be able to make 250 badges. So this is the actual badge maker itself, and then this is the 58mm die parts. You'll see when we use it that you use these differently and I'll explain why. It's got the circle cutter. Again, I'm not really using this. I have been using my machine. You've then got the back of the badges, the front of the badges, the badge pins, and you've also got the badge coatings as well. It also comes with this really handy guide which tells you the exact cut settings and sizes that you need for each die size. So we are in design space and I've got my template for my 58mm badge. So the outside circle, the white circle, is the size you're going to cut and this inner green circle is the size of my design. So I've got a cutie here, I've just used some pattern fill, but for those of you that don't know how to use pattern fill, we're just going to change the green of his eyes. So I'm going to click on that, I'm going to change the fill from no fill to print, I'm then going to click on the colour, I'm going to change the print type from colour to pattern. And I have done lots of videos on pattern fill and also uploading your own patterns as well. I think I'm just going to go for a green glitter. Once that's done, I can bring him over to my badge and I've also got some text here. So this is a child's year and I just want to curve it. So I'm going to come to my curve tool and I'm just going to roughly curve it and then bring it into my badge. And I want to curve that more, so again, I'm just going to keep curving it round until I'm happy. I'm then just going to hide the white circle, and I just want to highlight the inner circle, and I'm going to align, and I'm going to align centre horizontally. I just want to manipulate that slightly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back the white circle, and I'm just going to go to colour sync and I want the background to be the same as the inner circle so I'm just going to move that white one into this layer I'm going to go to my layers I'm going to click on the inner circle and I'm just going to get rid of that I don't need that, it's literally just to help me I'm then going to highlight my circle and I'm going to flatten. So what that means is it will print out exactly as you see it, but it will only cut out the circle bit. 
I don't need that, I'm just going to hide that, that's just to help me remember what size I'm working with. We can then go to make it, and I'm going to duplicate my project copies, let's try six, probably not going to get a seventh, but we can try it, no, so we're just going to go for six, we're just going to do the one sheet, and we can then go to continue. The first thing I need to do is send to printer. So I can send to printer. I always remove my bleed, that's just my personal preference. And I always click use system dialog. And then I go print. And that allows me to go into the advanced settings. So when I come to my advanced settings, I can then go to preferences. And I can just make sure that the print quality is high. Once I've printed, I can then choose my material setting. We're just using normal copy paper today. So I'm just going to come down to paper. I did try using card, it was too thick. So I do recommend using just normal copy paper. And then I can just click copy paper and then insert into my machine and cut them out. Once it's printed out and you've left it to dry for a couple of minutes, you can then add it to a blue light grip mat and you can come in with your Cricut brayer and just secure it to your mat. The machine will scan your registration lines first and then it will start cutting. paper that way. Try not to over bend your mat, you do want to be gentle, but I find this is the easiest way and it prevents ripping and tearing. You can then come in and just remove your cut out pieces. So we've then got all our badge pieces, we've got our film, we've got the front of our badge, we've got the back of our badge and then we've got our safety pin as well. So we've got the back of our badge, so you can see you've got a lipped area and a non-lipped side. And we've also got our backing pin as well. You want to open up the backing pin and you're going to place it in so that you've got the wave of the pin on this part of the badge. You don't want it on the lipped part. So you're just going to bring it in here and just slide it in so that it sits like that. And then that is the back of your badge. So this is the badge maker itself. You'll see it's got two sides. This is the side we're going to work with first. And it's also got a handle as well. So we've got the front piece of our badge and we're just gonna place that in. We've then got our cutout. We want to place it facing up. And we've then got one of our plastic films. You want to make sure that you are only picking up one of these. It can be really easy for them to stick together. You want to make sure you haven't got more than one because it will jam the machine. We've then got this ring here. You can see one side's got a lip and one side is flush. You want to put it lip side down. And then we've got this piece of the die. So we've got a flush side and then we've got a lip side. So for this one, you want to place it flush side down. So it then looks like that. You want to turn it round and bring it under your handle piece. You're going to bring your handle over and then you're just going to press down. We've then got this area here. We've got the back of our badge, which we're going to place in. And you want to make sure, again, that the zigzag side is facing up. We're then going to lift up the entire part of this die. And you'll see this is now empty because our badge is actually under here. We're going to come and place it on top of the back of our badge piece. And then this part of the die, we're simply going to lift up 
and turn around. So we've now got the flush side facing up. Again, we want to bring it round to our punch. We're going to lift our handle up and then we're going to come in and we're going to push down. We can then lift this off and there we go. We've got our very own beautifully made badge. Mm -hmm.